see what he thinks. I hope he doesn't say, Kim, it's good for nothing. I haven't been anywhere today. I just look like an old woman. No makeup. I don't know. There's probably somebody happy about it out there because I know somebody. As that still pops in my mind every now and then. Somebody said me and mom wear too much makeup. Anyway, Daniel's on his way down here. We're going to look. I'm in the garage. Um, we're going to look and see if we can get an idea of what I need to start in here. All right, well, waiting for him. And I will see y'all in a little bit when he gets here. I hear Daniel. He's in the driveway over here. Um, he's coming to push up some of that stuff out there in my front. I forgot and left this water running in this trough and it's gone way out there. <laughs> it's just going downhill back out the back. Um, got them fed. As far as the barn goes, or the old garage, I don't know, Daniel, he says he'll do in it whatever I want to do. He said himself, okay, well, this is the thing. And I don't want to sound, I don't know, I don't know how the word, to, how to sound. Um, he would just tear it down and start new. That's what he said, basically. But I hate to tear it down. And he and I said, I said, I know I look at it with like rose-colored glasses, you know. I see a good building still sitting here that needs some structural work, but it's not coming down. And he said, no, I'm standing in it right now, and I have no fear of it coming down. I said, well, if we take it down... When we rebuild it, I want to use as much of it as I can to have what I see out there looking this way. Now, I know it's got problems. I know, it, you know, it needs wood and stuff, replacement, good stuff, all here and there. But for, for what I'm trying to say is when I look over here and I'm in my yard and I look over here, I would love to be able to see... <sighs> A new improved version of this old wall if you if you understand what i mean i'm not holding you I'm holding you anyway he's out front i'm gonna walk out there with my camera with my phone see what all he's getting done no she wants out dad gum it i lock her in to eat so the goats won't mess with her and then she gets through eating and i haven't unlocked her yet I'm coming. I'm coming, Ladybug. Give me a second. No, move. Okay, move. I don't want I don't want little girl getting out. Uh uh, settle down. Crazy. Uh uh, no, ma'am. Go. Ridiculous. Start swinging that head. <laughs> I don't want to get hit with that head of hers. Oh. All right. Let's go out front and see what Daniel's. Is. I'm going to get Connor to pick up all those limbs and throw them in that pile. And I guess we'll have a burn pile right here, too. He's pulling it all out. back over on this far side. Lester, one time when, I think it was right before, I don't know if y'all remember back, well, I don't know if he even videoed it. He had had, um, I don't remember who he used, but he had somebody come down here and clear where those guys had cut all them limbs and they had left them 
from the last time they, and these are Debbie's trees right here. This is not my fence line. My fence line sort of comes about right here. That's her, that direction. And that's three, three dead trees. The, that one, big one, a small one, another big one. Anyway, I think Lester had somebody come and clean up a bunch of stuff that they had left. Dinosaur! Dinosaur! What happened? Dinosaur! Dinosaur! dinosaur. What? It's a dinosaur! <laughs> Something ate its arms off. Alright, we're gonna... I'm gonna work here with him for a little bit while I'm gonna watch him. I don't know if y'all wanna watch this whole thing. But I can show y'all what it looks like when he's done. There's a pine tree coming up right here. And I wish he could go through here and push that stuff that way too, over to that pile. And then eventually I can get it all burned. We had, for a long time, I kept a really good path. You know how we have the lane around the property? You know, like coming out of mom and dad's, you can turn and go beside Bree's house and up and all the way around Lester's. So when you when we were walking, like me and mom were walking, we would walk all the way around, we'd come down, and I had a nice mowed lane I kept mowed right here. Well, I mean, I kept my yard mowed anyway, but I didn't mow as much in Debbie's. I just mow around her house and stuff, but I didn't really do a lot in this mess. Then I don't want to do somebody else's deep, deep yard work clean. But I did mow it down good enough that we had a good path to walk. And then those guys came and did that trimming, those tree trimmers. And so he's got it all cleaned up along the, the all that pile it was just so much junk right there and there's so much dead trees and stuff in that good. yeah looks good when they did that tree trimming stuff not this past time but a couple of years ago they just left stuff yeah that one thing is a tree a right here. yeah that's what you were hitting that was keeping you from pushing over there might be a couple more stumps amongst this yeah, mess yeah yeah it looks good and i don't even care if some of this hedge stuff grows back up stands up and grows up it's not gonna bother me so bad but that all I don't didn't mow too far this way. I, I mow up around her house. And then the other day I mowed and it was just scattering trash. So I I couldn't come further up into that over there. I could see rope. I don't know where the rope came from. I'm sure it came from the dumpster and it got pulled out by dogs, but I didn't want to get it all wound up around my mower. Yeah, I was telling a while ago that when Lester first made the lane, separated, made that lane, and me and mom would walk, when we would come this way, I had a, a good path mowed through here. And then when they did that tree trimming that time, a few years ago, they piled a bunch of stuff up here and we couldn't get through no more. He's talking to Aunt Sissy. All right, I'm going to go. Katie, I'm trying to do a video.